So why is basic science important? Well, or is basic science more important than, than technology development, right? And as a society, of course, we need to have a balance of those two. We need to focus, of course, a lot of our attention on solving real problems that we have right now. Like we need to feed our people, we need to develop medicines and so on. But we can only do this in the long run if we also invest in basic science. And basic science is very different because basic science is curiosity driven. Right? We don't really know what the benefit of basic science will be in the long run. And so we have to do many different aspects of basic science in order to come up with some great inventions, uh, maybe in 10 years or maybe in 50 years. This is how all of our technology has been developed over the past few hundred years or so. So what are the obstacles uh, that, that, that you know, stand against basic science? Of course, every society always has the drive to make everything applied because you know, politicians want things to happen in their, in their four-year cycle. Society wants benefits tomorrow, right? But again, we need to invest in basic science to have something to do in the 10, 20, 50 year time period. And so as a basic scientist, we always have to push back against that urge from funding agencies and, and society as a whole to make everything applied. And so I'm actually super happy that I'm here as a director of the Basic Science Institute, where our mission is curiosity-driven, long-term basic science research. And, and that is really a unique opportunity that I very much enjoy. So in, in science, we kind of have also two different, two different methods maybe, right? You have some people that are real pioneers that are trying to do things that nobody has done before and I would count myself in that category. I'm always driven to things, to experiments that nobody has done before, uh, maybe new, new approaches combining two, two scientific uh, ideas together. That's what I love to do. But you also need to have many people that do more incremental steps, that take scientific developments and make them a little bit better and then make them a little bit better because without that, you would never be able to take the next big steps forward. And so in science, we have a mix also of people that are driven really by pushing things forward very far and those people that try to make things, make things better.